Hi guys, if you use Google Forms quite a lot, then you know how good it is for designing surveys or quizzes. And the best thing about it is that it's free as well. So it's, it's an ideal tool really for surveys. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to add an image into your question in Google Forms, just to sort of spice up the form a little bit to add a bit of interest to it. So when you start with Google Forms, you start with a new blank form and there is a question that's already visible um, for you to edit straight away. If you haven't used Google Forms before or you don't know how to access it or use it properly, then I'll put a link in the description below to my beginner's guide to using Google Forms. There's three ways to use images within the Google Forms. The first way is to add the image as a separate object. The second way is to insert the image as part of the question itself. And the third way is to actually add an image as an option in a few of the question types. So I'm going to show you how to do all of those. The first way is to add an image that's separate from the question. So it's actually a separate object independent from everything else. So highlight a section, um, where whichever, whichever section you highlight, the image will be below that section. So if you highlight this top section here, go to the floating menu over on the right hand side and click on the image icon, which is here. Click that to add an image. So this brings up the insert image options where you can either upload an image from your computer by clicking upload and then browse for an image here. Or you can take it, um, you can take a photo using the integrated camera if you have one available. You can type in the URL of an image. You can access your photos folder across all of your Google accounts. Or you can search for an image in Google Images. So we'll just go ahead and upload one from the PC here. So click that and click browse. And I'll just quickly choose one here. Click upload. And this will upload this as a separate object. So you'll see it's not included in the question block, which is here. So that means that you have to basically um, include an instruction of what you want the user to do. So where it says image title here, you could type in the instruction, um, for example, look at the picture and answer the question below. So if we just quickly type that in. Okay. And then if you scroll down here, then you would ask, um, you would put the question in below this. Um, so you could say, uh, let's have a look, what is the animal in the image above? And multiple choice. So we'll put down badger, fox, and rabbit. So now that, that this question here relates to this image above. So you'll see that as the picture is a separate object, it means that you can actually move it um, to another place on the form. So when you hover over it, you'll see the six dots here and the cursor changes shape to the um, cross lines. So you just click and you can drag it. So this can actually go beneath this question here. Or you can just move it back up to the top again and it's at the top there. So it's an independent section um, separate from the actual question itself. If you want to change the alignment um, or the actual image itself, click on the three dots here over on the left hand side and you have an alignment options menu coming up here where you can align it differently. You can actually change the image if you want to or you can remove the image. And then obviously you have the usual um, duplicate the question, delete it, or you can actually show hover text. So if you click on there, you can then add text that when people hover over that image, this text will appear. To get rid of it, click on the dots again over on the right hand side and just untick hover text. So that's the first way. The second way is to insert the image as part of the question. So if you actually add another question, um, so if we just go here, add question. So, if you ask the question, we then choose the question type. So we'll just have this as a short answer. So they actually have to physically type in the question, the answer to this. And when you hover over the question, you'll see over on the right hand side, there is actually an image icon there. So if you click onto there 
And again, this, you get the same insert image options available. So we'll just browse here and we'll just click one here. Okay, so the image has actually appeared within the question itself. So if you actually, if you go to the six dots here and go to move it, the whole section moves, which is the image and the question itself. You still have the same alignment um, options here again as before, but now this is actually within the question itself and you'll see they just type in a short answer here. So that's, that's method two is actually inserting the image as part of the question. And option three, method three, is to add an image as an option in the actual question. Now this method only works for two of the question types, which is multiple choice and text check boxes. So if we go to add question, so if we just quickly add, um, where do, where do squirrels sleep at night? Okay. So we'll have this as a multiple choice and option one, we'll just put down as A. And you'll notice here when you type in an option here, over on the right hand side, you have the image option here again. So if you click on here and again, insert an image as you would do. Um, so we'll just take, take an image there and it will insert an image for option A. And you'll notice here, it's actually suggesting other options for you. So when you go to add option, it automatically puts in option B for you. So again, add an image for option B. Uh, let's do this one. And we'll just do another one quickly, option C. And just choose the right answer here. And that's it. How to add images into the actual question as an option and as an answer option itself. So then all you need to do is when you finish the form, click preview, which is this little eye icon here, click preview and you'll view the form exactly how your users see it. So you can see here, this is the independent section of the image with the question underneath it. This is the actual image within the question itself. And these are the images as the answer options in the image, in the actual question. So I hope you found that helpful. As I said, I'll put a link to, in the description to the beginner's guide on using Google Forms. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy learning.